ओम ज्ञान तिरांध से ज्ञानाजनशलाखय चक्षुर् उन्मील ये तस्म श्री गुरव नम श्री चैतन्य मनोभीष्ट स्थापित येन भूतले स्वयं रूप कदा मह्यम ददा स्वपदाक नमो विष्णुपदाय कृष्ण प्रेष्ठा भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति वेदात स्वामीनिथिना नमस्ते सरस्वती देवे गौरवाणी प्रचारणे निर्विशेष शून्यवादी पाश्चातिदेशणे जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर श्रीवासादि गौरभक्त वृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे वंशाकलपतरुभ्य कृपा सिंधुभ्य पति पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम वेलकम एवरी वन हरे कृष्ण सो वी आर स्टडिंग चैतन्य भागवत वन ऑफ द मोस्ट ब्यूटिफुल टेक्स विच ग्लोरिफाई श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु एक्चुअली इट्स क्वाइट फैसिनेटिंग देर आर मेनी टेक्स विच ग्लोरिफाई श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु सम इन बेंगाली सम इन इंग्लिश ट्रांसलेटेड इन इंग्लिश ओरिजिनल इन संस्कृत द ओरिजिनल टेक्स्ट दैट वी फाइंड इज श्री चैतन्य चरित महाकाव्य रिटन बाय मुरारी गुप्त it is a beautiful text in sanskrit other sanskrit texts uh, that we find is chaitanya chandrodaya natak by shri kavi karnapur we also find chaitanya chandramrita by prabodhananda saraswati and they are all texts in sanskrit of course now translated in english also then in bengali we see texts like um, chaitanya mangal of lochan das thakur that's in bengali we find uh, chaitanya bhagavat by brindavan das thakur that's in bengali and then krishna das kaviraj goswami is magnum opus chaitanya charitamrita the most authoritative authentic presentation which um, synthesizes both bengali and sanskrit so you will see sanskrit verses also and bengali verses also so very beautiful shri chaitanya charitamrita chaitanya charitamrita was written about 60 years after chaitanya bhagavat so chaitanya bhagavat precedes Uh, or predates chaitanya charitamrita by 60 years vyasadev brindavandas thakur was hardly 29 years old when he wrote this text of chaitanya bhagavat and look how beautiful and how poetic there are a few sanskrit verses also like ajanulambita bujau kanaka vadato ityadi but mostly the text is in bengali and uh, devotees at <coughs> radha govinda temple uh, would hear chaitanya bhagavat from ragunath bhatt goswami ragunath bhatt goswami one of the six goswamis he never built any temple of his own or personal deities of course he um, fulfilled the desire of rupa goswami and engaged raja man singh in building the most munificent and magnanimous and magnificent and humongously tall radha govinda temple which aurangzeb had different plans and he got it down uh, but even now if you see radha govinda temple Uh, looks so beautiful so ragunath bhatt goswami sat there and he would read shrimad bhagavatam in sanskrit and after that he would read chaitanya bhagavat um for all the devotees and devotees would hear chaitanya bhagavat and they would find so much joy this text chaitanya bhagavat focuses mainly on mahaprabhu's navadvip leelas but mahaprabhu also took sanyas and traveled around for 6 years to south india and other places and after which he um Thanantarit he moved his base to um Jagannath Puri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu lived in Jagannath Puri from the age of 30 to 48 that's 18 years um so basically from his appearance to the age of 24 he was a grihastha in Navadvip and then from 24 at the time when he took sanyas to the age of 30 so about 6 years from 24 to 30 he did uh, tirtha paryatan or brahman traveling and then from 30 to 48 the last 18 years mahaprabhu lived in jagannath puri and he was displaying such unparalleled symptoms of divine ecstatic love so chaitanya bhagavat takes the bait and up to the navadvip leelas but post sanyas after sanyas his travels his conversations his teachings and his pangs of separation in jagannath puri as a devotee are all given in chaitanya charitamrita so devotees after they heard chaitanya bhagavat from uh, ragunath bhatt goswami they desired we wish there was a book which also takes the story ahead you know we we need a part 2 to this gaura leela after chaitanya bhagavat we need something more 
which will also tell us where he traveled, whom he spoke to, what instructions did he give, and how he danced in the Rathiyatra, and what was he doing in the Gambira as a devotee. So it was Raghunath Bhatta Goswami who requested his follower, Srila Krishnadas Kaviraj Goswami, to write Chaitanya Charitamrit. And Krishnadas Kaviraj Goswami had blessings from multiple sources. Krishnadas Kaviraj Goswami came in the line of Raghunath Bhatta Goswami, so he had instruction from the top, as from his Gurudev. At the same time, Krishnadas Kaviraj Goswami was in Radha Kund, and he heard three hours of Gaurakatha every evening from the lotus lips of Raghunath Das Goswami. So Raghunath Bhatta Goswami instructs him to write. And Raghunath Das Goswami as the Shiksha Guru would speak. Because Raghunath Das Goswami, uh, out of 18 years with Mahaprabhu in Jagannath Puri, he spent 16 years as a personal servant. So Swarupera Raghunath. Hmm? Raghunath Das Goswami had maximum time out of the six Goswamis in uh, personal presence with Sri Gauranga Mahaprabhu. So 16 years he spent time with Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And when Mahaprabhu left this world, when Swarup Damodar Goswami left this world, the two teachers of Raghunath Das, uh, Raghunath das Goswami, Swarup Damodar Goswami and Sri Gauranga Mahaprabhu, when both of them left this world, Raghunath Das Goswami felt such unparalleled vacuum in his heart. He decided to come to Vrindavan and commit suicide and give up his life. But it was Rupa and Sanatan Goswami who held him by the hand and said, Glory is not uh, giving up one's life in separation from one's master. Glory is burning in that separation and sharing the glories of one's master with the world. Shunyayate maha goshtam girindro ajgarayate vyagra tundayate kundam jivatu rahitasyame. Raghunath Das Goswami describes that this Brindavan Dham, which is so beautiful, becomes and looks so vacant in the presence, in the absence of my superiors. When Rupa and Sanatan also left, Raghunath Das Gos Goswami had lost everyone. He lost Mahaprabhu, he lost Swarup Damodra Goswami, he lost Rupa Goswami, he lost Sanatan Goswami. And he said, Shunyayate Mahagoshtam. This great Brihat Bana, this great forest of Brindavan, Shunyayate, looks completely vacant. Shunyayate Mahagoshtam and Girindro Ajgarayate. And the great mountainous the ranges of Giriraj Govardhan, Ajgarayate, looks like a big python with an open mouth to swallow me. And Vyagratundayate Kundam, the same pond of Radha Kund, which gives so much nectar and joy, seems like a gaping mouth, open mouth of a tigress ready to eat me. Imagine that Brindavan, which gives so much joy, Raghunath Das Goswami felt was vacant without Rupa and Sanatan, without Mahaprabhu, without Swarup Damodar Goswami. And Girindra Ajgarayate, and Girindra Giriraj seemed like a Ajgar, seemed like a snake. And Vyagratundayate Kundam, that most nectarian Tadati Suravi Radha Kundam Evashrayome, that Radha Kund which Raghunath Das Goswami worshipped, he said, the waters look like a gaping mouth of a tigress ready to swallow me, which means I'm ready to jump into this water and give up my life, or I'm ready to jump into Govardhan and jump from there, climb up Govardhan and jump from there and give up my life. Jivatu Rahitasyame, without my superiors, without the Vaishnavas, without my gurus. My life seems useless. So in such a destitute, deplorable, helpless, surrendering mood, Raghunath Das Goswami spoke Gauralila every evening. And in that assembly, taking notes was Krishnadas Kaviraj Goswami. So Krishnadas Kaviraj Goswami had instruction from Raghunath Bhatta Goswami. And then he heard Shiksha from Raghunath Das Goswami. And it was Srila Jiva Goswami who had read the works, the Sanskrit works, before Chaitanya Charita Amrit, Krishnadas Kaviraj Goswami had written a book about Krishna in Vrindavan, um, uh, reading those pastimes of Govinda. Jiva Goswami felt that Kaviraj Goswami is such a scholar. He has all good qualities. He's a vidwan. He's a scholar. He's a kavi. He's an expert poet who doesn't, he's not just intellectually scholarly, but he can also express it so poetically. Third, he's a pure devotee. He's a bhajananandi, not just a dry scholar, but he chants and he's completely dipped in devotion. Fourth, he's very rasic, which means he knows what to express, how, where, why, how, and in what relation, what pastime, with what emotions to uh, explore. And most importantly, he was anubhavi. 
he was very experienced he was more than 90 years old <laughs> so with all these great qualities jiva goswami gives the title kaviraj to krishnadas and krishnadas becomes krishnadas kaviraj and jiva goswami says you have written such a beautiful book about krishna uh, radha and krishna now you alone are qualified to write about radha and krishna in one form as chaitanya mahaprabhu so jiva goswami empowers ragunath bhatta goswami instructs and ragunath das goswami teaches and a perfect combination of all of this comes when krishna das kaviraj goswami he goes in front of madan mohan for blessings and madan mohan's garland falls and the pujari brings the garland and offers it to krishna das kaviraj goswami and says that madan mohan will empower you you right madan mohan will empower you so radha madan mohan who come as chaitanya mahaprabhu they tell krishna das kaviraj goswami we will dictate you simply become our pen so that krishna das kaviraj goswami in his beautiful wonderful chaitanya charitamrit which is the request of the vaishnavas who are hearing you remember they were hearing chaitanya bhagavat and their desire was to hear more so it was the vaishnav community who desired it was three superiors out of the six goswamis three out of those six empowered kaviraj goswami to write this text and madan mohan himself he instructs krishnadas kaviraj goswami that we will speak we will write you simply become an instrument nimitta matram bhava shabya chachi just become an instrument and this beautiful text will manifest of chaitanya charitamrit now chaitanya charitamrit manifests in such a beautiful manner it has uh, sanskrit verses it has bengali verses and that too it is not just straight forward it's a lot of variety like there are verses in chaitanya charitamrit from more than uh, 30 or 35 different references like there are verses from bhagavad gita in chaitanya charitamrit there are verses from bhagavatam in chaitanya charitamrit there are verses from bhakti rasamrita sindhu there are verses from gopal champu there are verses from vidag madhav lalit madhav there are verses from rup goswami and ragunath das goswami's works at the same time there are works there are verses that have been composed by krishnadas kaviraj goswami himself in sanskrit and putting all of them together making it so authentic he also gives details he gives dates for those readers of chaitanya charitamrit who want to find authenticity historical uh, authenticity he gives dates and not just that he also gives uh, details as far as preparations are concerned like for example he will say this sabji was made this fruit was used this vegetable was used this devotee was doing this that devotee was doing that service so it brings in complete authentic authoritative bona fide referencing cross verification with how was bengal during those days and what were the dishes that were made at that time and coming down tradition what are the popular sweets and he quotes all of them with all the persons involved with the date and the right chronology at what time in which aspect of mahaprabhu's leela which detail took place completely authentic nothing is fictitiously made up by speculation and all the verses that kaviraj goswami composes they also have many many meters and chandas like for example you'll have longer verses you'll have shorter verses you'll have mid verses in sanskrit of different melodies you will have shikharani chanda you will have sragdhara you will have manda kranta so many different um, poetic embellishments that are found in kaviraj goswami's chaitanya charitamrit even the bengali verses that you see in chaitanya charitamrit they have multiple parts like you will have verses which are dvipadi like for example sadhu sanga sadhu sanga sarva shastra koi one line lava matra sadhu sange sarva siddhi hoy two lines they are called dvipadi so he composes dvipadi verses at the same time he composes tripadi verses there are verses which have three lines like for example shri guru charana padma kevala bhakati sadma banda moi savadhana mate now that's three three lines it's not two lines it's three lines thakura vaishnava pada avanira sampada shuno bhai hoy kamo so so much uh, colorful variegatedness so much uh, distinctive 
poetic embellished uh, devotionally ripe and scholarly presented chaitanya charitamrita the crest jewel of all gaudiya scriptures now to add more um, information about chaitanya charitamrita's glory chaitanya charitamrita follows the chronology from mahaprabhu's appearance in fact even before mahaprabhu's appearance going through mahaprabhu's appearance navdeep leelas then sanyas then adi leela madhya leela and anti leela and in the adi leela also he beautifully describes the appearance and childhood pastimes in the madhya leela he describes mahaprabhu's travels to different places in south india and other places and in the anti leela he describes mahaprabhu's presence in jagannath puri so they form in the right chronology and kaviraj goswami so merciful and compassionate when he wrote this text he was over 90 or 95 years old so initially he gives an overview of the whole pastime list because he writes i am not sure if i will be able to complete this text so i'll give you an overview and after giving the overview he takes time to uh, chew it you know you can see a cow the cow will start eating up all the grass at once and then slowly sits to the side and ruminates it with more relish so krishna i'm not saying krishna das kaviraj goswami is cow <laughs> but just like mother cow does it you see krishna das kaviraj goswami as the perfect rasik vaishnav he presents the whole gaura leela as an overview and then he sits and individually he starts tasting uh, the different aspects of the pastime chaitanya charitamrita is so wonderful that it doesn't just have leela katha not just a story but first there is siddhanta सिद्धांत बलिय चित्ते नकर आलस यह होते कृष्ण लागे सुदृढ मानस कविराज गोस्वामी फर्स्ट एस्टॅब्लिशेस द सिद्धांत ही एस्टॅब्लिशेस द तत्व ही एस्टॅब्लिशेस द फिलॉसॉफिकल ट्रूथ लाइक फॉर एग्जांपल इन आदि लीला यू विल सी मेनी चैप्टर्स कृष्णदास कविराज गोस्वामी ऑफर्स इन सिंपली एक्सप्लेनिंग द फिलॉसॉफिकल आयडेंटिटी ऑफ हु चैतन्य महाप्रभु इज he starts explaining who nityananda prabhu is he starts explaining who advaita prabhu is so he spends sufficient like 200 300 verses in each of these chapters explaining their identity like while speaking about mahaprabhu he'll speak about the external reasons of mahaprabhu's appearance he will talk about the internal reasons of mahaprabhu's appearance and chaitanya charitamrita is quite unique in that way because if you see other texts and we are not putting any text down but we are seeing chaitanya charitamrit in the context of other texts like for example when you see chaitanya bhagavat hmm, written by brindavan das thakur or you see chaitanya mangal there's a different description of chaitanya mahaprabhu like when you read chaitanya bhagavat you get the feeling that chaitanya mahaprabhu is vaikunthanath he's the lord of vaikuntha you read chaitanya bhagavat and throughout you will hear words like vaikuntha rai tridasha rai vaikuntha pati huh? vishnu priya nath huh? sabe jeeva daya karo karo drishti path <laughs> calling chaitanya mahaprabhu as um, vaikuntha pati lakshmi pati hmm? so that's the mood of chaitanya bhagavat invokes mahaprabhu as gaur narayan that mahaprabhu is narayan but when you read chaitanya mangal of lochandas thakur it explains he is gaur krishna it doesn't describe mahaprabhu as uh, narayan or vaikuntapathi but uh, chaitanya mangal of lochandas thakur describes mahaprabhu as krishna of goloka vrindavan he will say krishna appeared as chaitanya mahaprabhu but it is only chaitanya charitamrit which describes mahaprabhu not as gaur narayan or gaur krishna but as shri krishna chaitanya radha krishna nahi anya this beautiful description that mahaprabhu is the non different appearance manifestation of radha and krishna in one form this is the blessing of krishna das kaviraj goswami's chaitanya charitamrita before chaitanya charitamrita was written nobody would speak about mahaprabhu being radha rani but it was chaitanya charitamrit which proved shri radha ya pranaya mahima ki drishoba nayeva swadhyo yena adbhuta madhuri ma ki drishoba madhiya saukhyam chasya mat anubhavata ki drisho vetti lobhat tad bhavadya samajanisha chi garbha sindho harindu it was chaitanya charitamrit which presented that it is krishna naomi krishna swarupam 
महाप्रभु इज कृष्ण बट इन साइड राधा भाव एंड आउटसाइड राधा कांति सो गोल्डन कंप्लेक्शन ऑफ राधा रानी आउटसाइड एंड द डिवोशनल मूड ऑफ राधा इन साइड सो दिस ट्रांसेंडेंटल सैंडविच ऑफ राधा इन साइड एंड राधा आउटसाइड एंड कृष्ण बींग सैंडविच इन दीज टू मूड्स दिस आइडेंटिटी ऑफ महाप्रभु वॉज गिवन इन चैतन चरितामृत This is the great gift of Shri Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami. Another very amazing thing that you will find in Chaitanya Charitamrit is the concept of Panchatattva. You will never see the concept of Panchatattva in Chaitanya Bhagavat or Chaitanya Mangal or Chaitanya Charit Mahakavya or Chaitanya Chandrodaya or Chaitanya Chandramrit Charit Mahakavya. None of these books talk about Panchatattva, but this. Term was coined by Krishnadas Kaviraj Goswami. Panchatattva ek vastu kichu nahi bhed. Lila rasa aswadite vivida vibhed. Jaya jaya Shri Chaitanya. Jaya Nityananda. Jaya Advaita Chandra. Jaya Gaur Bhakta Vrinda. This verse was given by Krishnadas Kaviraj Goswami. So everybody knew Mahaprabhu, Nityananda, Advaita, Gadadara and Shri Vas. They knew. But to put them as Panchatattva, this was Krishnadas Kaviraj Goswami. It's Chaitanya Charitamrit. which did this to the whole world before that you read chaitanya bhagavat or chaitanya mangal there's description of gaur nitai <laughs> there's description of gaur gadadhar but description of gaur nityananda advaita gadadhar and shrivas jaya shri krishna chaitanya prabhu nityananda shri advaita gadadhar shrivas adi gaur bhakta vrinda this is the gift of krishna das kaviraj goswami chaitanya charitamrita another beautiful facet of chaitanya charitamrita is the concept of six goswamis <laughs> this shat goswami picture that we have on the altar is the gift of krishna das kaviraj goswami is chaitanya charitamrit before chaitanya charitamrit there is no concept of six goswamis there are so many goswamis in vrindavan right and even in our gaudiya sampradaya so many goswamis but to say rupa sanatan रघुनाथ दास रघुनाथ भट्ट जीव गोस्वामी गोपाल भट्ट गोस्वामी ए छाय गोसाय कोरी चरण बंदन जहा हईते विघ्नाश अभीष्ट पुरन ए छाय गोसाय कोरी ब्रज कोइलो बास राधा कृष्ण नित्य लीला कोरीला प्रकाश तादेरो चरण सेवी भक्त सने बास जनमे जनमे मोई ए अभिलाष दिस वाज कृष्णदास कविराज गोस्वामी इज मूड दैट रूप सनातन रघुनाथ भट्ट रघुनाथ दास गोपाल भट्ट एंड जीव गोस्वामी दे आर द षट गोस्वामी like mahaprabhu is the moon and they are the six moon beams coming out of the moon of gaurachandra's compassion you can see just like krishna has uh, this is not in praman but i am just sharing this from my heart so all of you may forgive me we can see just like krishna has six opulences i see a very striking similarity those six opulences appearing in this world as the six goswamis of vrindavan you can see the supreme lord's unparalleled intelligence his buddhi coming in this world as shila jeeva goswami you can see the supreme lord's beauty the bodily beauty coming as rupa the form rupa goswami taking the the very beautiful uh, form and the beauty of mahaprabhu and krishna similarly you can see the extreme renunciation of the lord appearing in this world as ragunath das goswami ragunather bhajan jeno pashanero rekha when raghunath das goswami did bhajan it were like lines on a rock his chanting his reading his offering obeisances his parikrama he would do it every single day our bhajan is like lines in water today it is there tomorrow it's not the next moment our schedule changes uh, we make schedule today i will do this i will do this tomorrow i'll do this and nothing happens we wake up late and all schedule is gone but raghunath das goswami was not like that he was so detached in this world raghunath ero bhajan jeno pasha nero rekha his bhajan were like lines on a rock if you draw lines on a rock it will never change so that was das goswami so it's almost like the lord's power of renunciation appears in this world as uh, raghunath das goswami and in this way you can see um, the lord's fame personification you see he has six opulences he has beauty he has wealth he has uh, six opulences of which one is fame and that fame manifests in this world as gopal bhatt goswami is radharaman which is world famous <laughs> all vaishnavas from all sampradayas they come to radharaman lal in vrindavan mm. very very beautiful very wonderful 
So in this way, you can see uh, all the six opulences of the Lord manifesting, even in the form of Sanatan Goswami and uh, Raghunath Bhatta Goswami's love for Srimad Bhagavatam. So, so putting these six Goswamis together and offering them as a gift to the whole world, uh, encapsulating all their works, their moods, their writings, their songs, their verses, and bringing them together in Chaitanya Charitamrit was the gift of Srila Krishnadas Kaviraj Goswami. So, and and not just that. <laughs> now to add more, uh, to to share more light on the colorful feathers on the crown of this <laughs> presentation. Like for example, if you have a cap which has many colorful feathers, it takes a long time counting all those colorful feathers. Or if you have a crown with many uh, bedecked jewels, then it takes time seeing all those jewels and appreciating them. So similarly, if all the Shastras are like a body, Chaitanya Charitamrita is like the crown, and all that we are sharing now are different facets of the crystal-like uh, jewels found in this text. Another jewel that you will find very unique to Chaitanya Charitamrita is Chaitanya Charitamrita also involves very, tra very transcendental conversations that Mahaprabhu has with his associates. Like, for example, you will see Mahaprabhu's instructions to Sanatan Goswami, Mahaprabhu's instructions to Rupa Goswami, Mahaprabhu's conversation with Sarvabhama Bhattacharya, Mahaprabhu's conversations with Keshav Kashmiri, Mahaprabhu's conversations with Prakashananda Saraswati, Mahaprabhu's conversations with um, Ramananda Rai, Mahaprabhu's conversations with Raghunath Das Goswami, so many beautiful conversations. They've all been encapsulated in Chaitanya Charitamrita. So those who are historians who are reading, or oh, they have the right authentic information with the names and the places and the details and the year. And if someone is very poetic and they're reading, or oh, they have so many verses to relish, so many beautiful descriptions to relish. Someone is reading just for the story, they get stories as well. Someone is a great philosopher and thinker, then he gets the philosophical juice of the identity of Mahaprabhu, the identity of Nityananda Ram, and comparing Nitai to Balaram and Lakshman. All of this is given in Chaitanya Charitamrita. Now, if someone wants to learn what to do in life, then those teachings are there in the form of these Samvad. You see, conversations play a very interesting role. For example, if we have to explain <laughs> Hasirati, Hasiras, the mood of laughter. And if you have to explain, it will take many pages. What is uh, the rasa of laughter like? When to laugh? How to laugh? Who laughs? What kind of jokes are cut? In what circumstances one should not laugh? You see, all those things have to be written. But if you explain, it takes so much time. But if you put a conversation, like Madhu Mangal says something and Krishna starts to laugh. So just in that conversation, all these things that we took so many pages to explain, they're all included there. Like through a conversation, you'll know what to say. Through a conversation, you'll know whom to say, what to say, when to say, when not to say, how to say, and what are things which are funny, and what are the jokes in which Krishna and his friends laugh. So conversation has a very interesting role in, in writing, in, in philosophical presentation. The Samvada Shaili, it is called. It is called the... the uh, the tactful presentation of uh, teaching different things through conversation. Therefore, you will see when you learn a new language, um, there are textbooks where conversations are taught. Like in Marathi or in Hindi, um, you know, Rajesh said this, Suresh said this, then Mahesh replied. So teachers make us read that because through conversations, you learn many things. How to speak, uh, what kind of words to use, and what kind of emotions are aroused by those words? In what circumstance? If you have to explain the philosophy behind laughing, it will take so many pages. <laughs> but if you just make someone laugh, then it's very easy. So through conversations, Mahaprabhu has explained uh, so many teachings to the whole world. And Krishnadas Kaviraj Goswami includes all those conversations so poetically through Sanskrit and through Bengali with so much authority. It's not made up. So as we were mentioning, so many references from different books and different Shastra have been drawn in a generation where there was no internet, when there was no search engine. The books were so difficult to find and he's researching and finding the right references and including all of that in his Chaitanya Charitamrit. Imagine there are 
very sweet conversations with Raghunath Das Goswami and Ramananda Rai, very instructive uh, conversations with Rupa Goswami, very philosophical conversations with um, Sarvabhama Bhattacharya Prakashananda Saraswati, etc., who come from a uh, Advaitavad philosophy. And to Keshav Kashmiri, who comes with so much pride, Mahaprabhu is just blasting him, blasting his pride open and making him surrender. So these things are also discussed. Now, the topmost Navratna jewel on top of Chaitanya Charitamrit is God playing the role of a devotee. Oh, this is fabulous. This is fabulous. In all other texts, yes, you will see the Lord playing the role of a devotee, but he also switches very quickly to the role of being God. <laughs> like in Mahaprakash Leela, he will become God and he will sit on the altar, Mahaprabhu, and he will take the worship of all the devotees. But next moment, he will again touch the lotus feet and take the foot dust of Advaita Prabhu on his head. But in Chaitanya Charitamrit, you will see, when Mahaprabhu is in Jagannath Puri, he's in a constant mood of being a devotee. He doesn't move back to the mood of being God. He's always in the mood. Kaha mora prananath mora libadan. Oh, where is my Krishna, the player of the flute? Where is my Krishna, who is like the rising moon in the family of Nanda Maharaj? Where is my Krishna, who is like the Ujjwala Nilamani, the blue sapphire touchstone found in the oyster of the blue ocean of Rasa? <laughs> Where is my Shamsundar, who is the hero of the Rasa Leela? Where is my Shamsundar, who is like the Kajal in the eye of Srimati Radhika? Oh, where is my Shamsundar, who is like the beautiful uh, necklace in the heart of Srimati Radharani? Oh, where is my Shamsundar, who is like a bluish black rainful monsoon cloud on top of Govardhan? Oh, where is my Shamsundar, who is like a fully blossomed blue lotus flower swimming in the waves of the Jamuna? Oh, where is my Shamsundar, who is like the Tamal tree standing with his branch like arms wide open in the forest of Vrindavan? Hmm. So Mahaprabhu in the mood of Radharani as a devotee is finding is feeling separation from Krishna. So Chaitanya Charitamrit gives an insight into the heart of Krishna. Bhagavad Gita are the words of Krishna. Bhagavatam are the activities of Krishna. But Chaitanya Charitamrit is a CCTV footage with a uh, binocular vision into the heart, into the heartbeat of God. What does God want? Oh, he wants to be a devotee. <laughs> he wants to be the best devotee. He wants to be Radharani. And this Chaitanya Charitamrit benedicts. How beautiful. And Kaviraj Goswami has explained all of this with so much rasa. <clears throat> it is described in this world that when you see the blue waters of the ocean, we feel a lot of joy. But at the same time, when you see these golden sand particles of the shore, you find so much joy. On one side are the blue waters of the ocean, on one side are the golden sand particles of the shore. Now imagine if the blue waters come and touch the uh, golden sand uh, particles of the shore and also drag some golden sand particles into the ocean. So this gold mixing with the blue and blue, blue mixing with the gold and the waves are coming and pulling the sand in and the sand is going in and also bringing in some water. Oh, this is Chaitanya Charitamrit. Why? Because the blue water is Shama Sundar and the golden sand shore is Gaura Sundar. And Chaitanya Charitamrit brings in Krishna Leela and says, Radha and Krishna perform their Braja Leela, but now Krishna fulfilled the desires of everyone, but he had his desires unfulfilled, where he wanted to become a devotee as Radha. So therefore, the blue waters of Braja Leela come and touch the golden sand of Gaura Leela. And Krishna becomes Radha as Gauranga. But now what's happening? In the golden sand of Gauralila, Mahaprabhu is remembering Krishna and running towards the ocean. <laughs> and this mixing of the blue waters with the golden sand and the golden sand with the blue water. Oh, this is Chaitanya Leela. This is Chaitanya Charita Amrit. Chaitanya Leela Amritapur Krishna Leela Sukarpur Dui mili hoe sumadhurya sadhu guru prasade 
তার যে আস্বাদে সেই জানে মাধুর্য প্রচুর্য সেই জানে মাধুর্য প্রচুর্য কবিরাজ গোস্বামী শেষ চৈতন্য লীলা অমৃতপুর কৃষ্ণ লীলা সুকরপুর ও মহাপ্রভুস লীলা ইজ লাইক স্যুইট রাইস এন্ড কৃষ্ণ লীলা সুকরপুর এন্ড কৃষ্ণ লীলা ইজ লাইক দ্য ফ্লেভারিং অন দ্য টপ দুই মিলি হয়ে সু মাধুর্য ওয়েন গৌর লীলা এন্ড কৃষ্ণ লীলা মিক্স ইট বিকম সো টুই সো স্যুইট এন্ড টেস্টি বাট হু ক্যান টেস্ট সাধু গুরু প্রসাদে তাহা যে আস্বাদে সেই জানে মাধুর্য প্রচুর্য only by the blessings of guru parampara if someone is fortunate to taste it or oh, they will say this is the greatest sweet ever this is the greatest bengali sweet ever not rasgulla or rasmalai or sandesh but it is chaitanya charitamrita <laughs> gaura leela and kaviraj goswami is such a genius he packs all of this in such sweet scholarly bengali but at the same time very uh, understandable bengali Brindavan Das Thakur, with so much compassion, he put it in Bengali, but rural Bengali. The Bengali that everyone in, in all parts of Bengal can understand. Uh, conventional Bengali at that time. But Kaviraj Goswami, he puts it in a Bengali of the scholarly community, which has a lot of uh, Sanskrit words, which may not be colloquially used, which is Sahityak Bengali, which is used in Sahitya. But at the same time, which is very easy to understand for people. Uh, jana samanya for the common people like for example look how sweetly he expresses now in the gambhira in the final years of mahaprabhu's presence mahaprabhu was hearing uh, chandidas poetry vidyapati's pro poetry ramananda rai's jagannath vallabh natak he was hearing to karnamrita by bilba mangal thakur he was hearing jaydev goswami's gita govinda mahaprabhu was hearing all this now he was hearing this in the presence of ramananda rai and swarup damodar and sometimes singing and sometimes hearing and day and night he was doing this now all this information is given if we are told to compose this in a bengali verse we will struggle <laughs> even those phd in bengali will struggle they will not be able to pull in the sweet devotional expression of kaviraj goswami you know how kaviraj goswami explains this here This is how sweet. Let's listen to this. It's so beautiful. Kaviraj Goswami says, Chandi Dasa Vidyapati. Now, Ramananda Rai wrote a Nataka Geeti, which means a drama and song. And he's called Ramananda Rai. Rai, right? So look how Kaviraj Goswami writes. Chandi Dasa Vidyapati. Rai Ra Nataka Geeti. Karnamrita Shri Gita Govinda. স্বরূপ রামানন্দ সনে মহাপ্রভু রাত্রি দিনে গায়ে শুনে পরম আনন্দ গায়ে শুনে পরম আনন্দ উইথ অল অফ দিস ফ্যাসেটস কবিরাজ গোস্বামী ইজ গ্রেটেস্ট কোয়ালিটি না ইন চৈতন্য চরিতামৃত হি সেজ যে মোর নাম শুনে তার পুণ্য ক্ষয় যে মোর নাম লয় তার পাপ হয় পুরুষের কীট হইতে মুই সে লঘিষ্ঠ জগাই মদাই হইতে মুই সে পাপিষ্ঠ উইথ অল অফ দিস বিদ্যা বিনয়েন শোভতে বিদ্যা দাতি বিনয় বিনয়া দিয়াতি পাত্রতা ইট ইস ডিসক্রাইবড হোয়াট ইস দি ইউজ অফ এ ট্রি ইফ ইট ডাজেন্ট হ্যাভ ফ্রুটস and if the tree has fruits then it will bend by the weight of weight of those fruits <laughs> so what is the use of a poet if he doesn't have the fruit uh, of devotional learning and if at all he has devotional learning ripened then he will bow down in humility by the weight of those good qualities it is described that there are two types of people in this world <laughs> শুষ্কাষ্টুষ্কাষ্টুষ্কাচন 
and those trees which are full of fruits, by the weight of the rasa of those fruits or devotional qualities, they always bow down before everyone. So Kaviraj Goswami, the greatest devotional poet, he bows down. He says, I am more fallen than the worm that is found in sewage. I am more sinful than Jagai and Madai. Anyone who listens to my name loses all piety. And anyone who utters my name will go to hell. <laughs> who will become sinful. Now, this is, of course, unbelievable humility. Now, in this world, when two people are in the same field, from a materialistic perspective, there could be some subtle competition. In the spiritual realm, there is no competition. Of course, there's transcendental competition on who's going to serve Krishna more. But in a materialistic perspective, if there are two singers, then they will compete with one another. If there are two chefs, they will compete with one another. There are two YouTube, um, whatever, vloggers, you call it. <laughs> I'm just learning newer terms now. Vlogger, right? So if there are two people who are shooting videos or whatever, then they will have some competition between who's more popular or whatever. If there are two politicians and leaders, then they'll have some competition. So naturally, you will see two writers having the same genre of writing may have some subtle competition. Brindavan Das Thakur's Chaitanya Bhagavat was 60 years before, so everyone was reading it. So there could be a doubt in the mind of some people in society. Why did Krishnadas Kaviraj Goswami write a book of his own when there's already a work by Brindavan Das Thakur in the form of Chaitanya Bhagavat? Was it to compete? Krishnadas Kaviraj Goswami uproots all these doubts in Chaitanya Charitamrita. And how does he do that? He does that by loudly, um, loudly, devotionally, universally proclaiming the glories of Brindavan Das Thakur. Imagine two authors writing books of the same genre. They're both going to write in a competitive way to steal the audience out for their own book. But here Krishnadas Kaviraj Goswami writes a book and the authors who come to read that book of Chaitanya Charitamrita, which we described as so glorious. In that book, Krishnadas Kaviraj Goswami says, Ore muda loka shuno chaitanya mangal chaitanya mahima jane jani be shakal. Oh foolish readers of my book, please don't read my book. The purpose of writing this book is to point the direction towards Brindavan Das Thakur Chaitanya Bhagavat. <laughs> He's saying, don't read my book. The purpose of my book is to bring all of you to that book. And then he says, Manushya Rachite Nare Aishe Granto Dhanya Brindavana Dasa Mukhe Bhakta Shri Chaitanya. He says, Chaitanya Bhagavat was not written by Brindavan Das Thakur. No human being can write a book like this. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself wrote it. And Brindavan Das Thakur's mouth was the, uh, the Ganga, the, go, uh, the Gomuk. Gangotri, <laughs> the origin of the Ganga of Chaitanya Bhagavat. It was Mahaprabhu who was dictating Vrindavana Dasa Mukhe Vakta Shri Chaitanya. Mahaprabhu's glorious Ganga was uh, emanating from his uh, lotus mouth, Vrindavana Das Thakur's lotus mouth. So he was the medium, the mouthpiece of this epic work. Kaviraj Goswami writes. Then Kaviraj Goswami Pad writes, Krishna Lila Bhagavate Kahe Beta Vyas. Chaitanya Lila Ravyas Brindavana Das. <laughs> he says, Vyasadev wrote Krishna Lila in the form of Bhagavatam. And that same Vyasadev Shakti has manifested in Brindavan Das Thakur, who is writing Chaitanya Bhagavatam. Now it's quite fascinating. Brindavan Das Thakur wrote it when he was hardly 29. And Kaviraj Goswami Pad is writing when he is more than 92, flipping the digits. So imagine a 92 year old. Uh, glorifying the work of a 29-year-old when he wrote it. And that to saying that the Kaviraj Goswami could have thought, well, his book didn't have uh, post-sanyas, uh, um, Jagannath Puri Leelas. My book has it. He could have thought from a materialistic perspective like that. But look at the humility. He says, Sahaje Vichitra Madhur Chaitanya Vihar Vrindavana Dasa Mukhe Amrite Radhar he says, Mahaprabhu's leelas are so sweet and spontaneous, I am not able to write them. When they come from the lotus lips of Brindavan Das Thakur, oh, 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 Amrite Radhar. It is like a flow, flood of nectar. 
Then the question is, okay, if you're glorifying Brindavan Das Thakur so much, Krishnadas Kaviraj Goswami, then why are you writing your book? <laughs> why are you writing? To which Krishnadas Kaviraj Goswami Pad says, when a Vaishnav finishes eating Prasadam, honoring Prasadam, then it is Vaishnav culture to take some remnants from his plate for our own Shuddhi Karan. So he says, um, Chaitanya Lilara Vyas Das Brindavan Tar Agya Koro Tar Uchishta Charvan. Uh, Vyasdev has appeared as Brindavan Das Thakur and he is giving Chaitanya Bhagavat. I am simply collecting some remnants from his plate for my own purification and distributing it to everyone. So did you learn all of this yourself, Krishnadas Kaviraj Goswami? He says, no, no, no. Chaitanya Lila Amrita Sar Swarupero Bhandar Teho Thaila Raghunatera Kanthe Taha Kichu Jeshunilo Taha Iha Bistarilo Bhakta Gana Dila Ehi Bhete this treasure box of Gaur Leela is actually the property of Swarup Damodar Goswami, who personally saw these pastimes and wrote it in his diary. He taught this to Raghunath Das Goswami. Raghunath Das Goswami taught it to Kaviraj Goswami. And Kaviraj Goswami's notes are Chaitanya Charita Amrit as a gift to the whole world. So he says, Taha kichu je shunilo. Whatever I have heard from Raghunath Das Goswami, I have just expanded here. And Bhakta Gana Dila e Bhete. I am giving it as a gift to the whole world. I don't have any uh, contribution or qualification. After writing 11,555 verses in Chaitanya Charitamrit at the age of 95, Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami is saying, I have no qualification. He's saying, I am blind. I can't even lift my eyelids. My hands are trembling. I can't hold the pen. I can't even hear properly at this age. I don't know how this book is manifesting. I haven't written it. Madan Mohan Dev has manifested this book. This is Chaitanya Charitamrit. And this is the glory of Chaitanya Bhagavat that Chaitanya Charitamrit describes and glorifies Chaitanya Bhagavat. How amazing. Really phenomenal. Time and again he will do that with so much humility. Every chapter starts with Jaya Jaya Sri Chaitanya Jaya Nityananda Jaya Dvaita Chandra Jaya Gaur Bhakta Vrinda and every chapter ends with Rupa Raghunath Pade Jar As Chaitanya Charitamrit Kahe Krishna Das. That this Krishna Das, Kaviraj, he's not even saying Kaviraj. <laughs> he's saying Kahe Krishna Das. This Krishna Das, for us Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami, he says, offering everything at the lotus feet of Rupa Goswami and Das Goswami, I offer this chapter to their for their satisfaction. And in this way, 17 chapters in Adi Leela, 20 chapters, 25 chapters in Madhya Leela, and 20 chapters in Antilila, 62 chapters of Chaitanya Charitamrit were presented by Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami. How phenomenal is that? And then after all of this, so if you see the timeline, Kaviraj Goswami appeared in 1517. Hmm? 1517. So that is roughly around uh, 507 years ago. Hmm? 1517. And Chaitanya Charitamrit was complete in 1615. So at the age of 98, so 1517 when he appeared and 1615 is when he completed. So you can imagine at the age of 98, Chaitanya Charitamrit was finished. And the way he gives this uh, information of the completion is also phenomenal. Kaviraj Goswami, at the end of Chaitanya Charitamrit, he says that this book was complete and he gives a very beautiful order. Now look at how interestingly Kaviraj Goswami writes. As we know, 1615 is when the book was complete and that's our calculation. So if you have to calculate the Shaka calendar, which uh, Kaviraj Goswami was using, that runs 78 years before. So if for us, 1615 is when the book was completed. So roughly, I think around uh, 1537 is the Shaka calendar when it was completed. And if it was 1537 when it was completed, Kaviraj Goswami, <laughs> he, he writes now, hmm, Shake Sindhvagni hmm, Banendu. In one line of Anushtu, he writes the date when he, he completed. He says Shake, which means in the Shaka era, era or the Shaka calendar, Sindhu Agni Banendu. He writes four words. Sindhu Agni, Bana, Indu. 
Sindhu means ocean. And how many oceans are there? Sapta Sindhu. So that represents the number seven. Sindhu Agni. Agni means fire. And there are three types of fire. So that makes it seven, three. Bana means arrows. And Kamadev has five types of arrows. So the, ba the word Bana refers to the number five. So that makes it seven, three, five. And Indu means the moon. And that's only one moon. So if you see the number that is... Um, uh, seven, <laughs> three, uh, five, and one. And in Sanskrit, there is a rule that ankasya vamastitihi. Numbers are to be read in the backward direction. So, which means seven, three, five, one makes it one, five, three, seven in the Shaka era. You add 78, and that makes it 1615, our completion year. <laughs> he writes it poetically as Shake Sindhvagni Banindu. That this was completed yeah, so beautifully on the banks of Radha Kund. Uh, actually, in May, in the month of May, uh, on a Sunday, <laughs> um, in, in uh, 1615, our calendar. So, in this way, Krishnadas Kaviraj Goswami, Chaitanya Charitamrit, and Brindavandas Thakur, Chaitanya Bhagavat, when they are studied together, Mahaprabhu's pre sanyas and post sanyas leelas can be relished. So many prayers can be learnt. So many conversations can be studied. So many pastimes can be remembered. And in this way, philosophically, uh, through Siddhanta Vichar or Tattva Vichar, through um, um, philosophical understanding, through Rasa Vichar, through the mellows of devotion, uh, through Leela Vichar, through the pastime description, um, and also Vaishnav Sadachar of humility and tolerance and forgiveness and compassion, the compassion of Advaita Acharya's call, the tolerance of Haridas Thakur in the whipping, all of this with beautiful verses are gifted to all of us for free. All glories to Srila Prabhupada and Prabhupada Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur who got this tradition down in English up to the modern generation. Saraswati Thakur Prabhupada got it in Bengali with his purports. And he prioritized on Chaitanya Bhagavat and studied the Chaitanya Charitamrit as his life and soul. And our Prabhupada, he paused the translation of Srimad Bhagavatam and finished the translation and purport of Chaitanya Charitamrit and came back to Bhagavatam. And Prabhupada said, Gita is meant for everyone. Everyone. Even those who are non-Vaishnavas, they also study the Gita and memorize Gita. Actually, that's the favorite pastime of Indians everywhere. Memorizing chapters. If you ask any Indian, what is your favorite uh, pastime or time pass, as they call it? Children and adults also. How many verses you know? How many chapters do you know? This is like the famous uh, Indian <laughs> Bhagavad Gita memorization thing. So everyone studies Bhagavad Gita, even those who are not Vaishnavas. But Bhagavatam, yad Vaishnava nam priyam. Only the Vaishnav Sampradayas do. And Chaitanya Charitamrit, only the Gaudiya Vaishnavas do. So Chaitanya Charitamrit is our Sirmor, Mukutmani, Chudamani, Shiromani. It is the crown of all scriptures, Grantha Shiromani for the followers of Mahaprabhu. So we should study Chaitanya Bhagavat and Chaitanya Charitamrit. In fact, singing these verses to our deities every day gives so much joy to them. Because it's, it's fascinating. When you sing the glories of the devotee to the Lord, the Lord loves it. And when you sing the glories of the Lord to the devotee, the devotee loves it. All glories, all glories to Gaur Leela, where God becomes a devotee. And being a devotee, he remembers God. So in front of Gaur Nithai, if you sing Chaitanya Charitamrit, they will be pleased because there is glorification of Krishna and Bhakti and Bhakta. If they are in the mood of um, uh, devotees, then they will like to hear about other devotees and they will like to hear about God. And if they are in the mood of God, then naturally they like to hear about devotees and their mood of devotion. So in this way, Chaitanya Charitamrita and Chaitanya Bhagavat are our um, life and soul, apart from Bhagavad Gita and Bhagavatam. So in this discussion, I urge all the devotees to not let Prabhupada's sacrifice go waste. Actually, Prabhupada writes in the end of Chaitanya Charitamrita that like Krishnadas Kaviraj Goswami, I am an old man. And I don't know when I will depart. The same anxiety that Kaviraj Goswami had, not the anxiety of departure, but the anxiety of not being able to give the text if something happens. Prabhupada had that same transcendental compassion that what will happen to the world 
if i depart and chaitanya charitamrita is not complete even if bhagavatam is incomplete no problem so many commentaries are there but chaitanya charitamrita must be given so in this mood um shila prabhupad carried the baton our our prabhupad ac bhakti vedanta swami prabhupad and his prabhupad prabhupad saraswati thakur bhakti siddhanta saraswati thakur and his father sachitananda shila bhakti vinod thakur they carried the baton of compassion of chaitanya charitamrita from one generation to another in fact shila bhakti vinod thakur it took him 8 years to find one copy of chaitanya charitamrita in bengal imagine finding a bengali text in bengal getting difficult it took him 8 years and by prabhupad's mercy nowadays there are book distributors and there's campaign by which every home has a set full set of chaitanya charitamrita it only lacks one thing our sincere endeavor to read it daily that's all everything else is there kaviraj goswami gave it our acharyas prioritized it prabhupad presented it distributors gave it we are studied in english and hindi and we have eyes to see and we have ears to hear we have analytical mind to comprehend and we have time and we have a home where we can do all this krishna has made everything comfortable we simply have to uh, get a little more interested um, it is like mahaprabhu saying that the holy name has given everything but what is the durbhagya idrisham ih janina anuraga durdaiva mitrisham ih janina anuraga the greatest durbhagya or durdaiva unfortunate thing is krishna is giving everything but i don't have taste i don't have sincerity so in this way let us pray to krishna das kaviraj goswami and brindavan das thakur uh, the way they have glorified gaur nitai may their compassion may their qualities come in our heart at least may we be sincere enough to read it to please prabhu pad every day saying this i will uh, pause for the day vancha kalpatru bhyas chakrapa sindhu bya eva cha patitanam pavane bhyo vaishnava bhyo namo namaha grantraj chaitanya charitamrit grantraj chaitanya bhagavat ki jaye acharya shirohmani shila prindavan das thakur and krishna das kaviraj goswami ki jaye shila prabhu pad ki jaye iskon guru brind ki jaye anant koti gaur bhakt brind ki jaye jay jay shri radhe shyam nitai gaur primanande hari hari